Okay, what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to show something about uh, lever actions with the magazine feed that applies to uh, all magazine feed rifles as far as I'm concerned, but uh, one that I've noticed especially in this Rossi Ranch hand, and it has to do with a, a possible, I wouldn't call it, I guess you'd call it a malfunction, but a condition that the rifle could end up in that's very unsafe unless you're really watching for it. So what I'd like to do is uh, I'm going to demonstrate it with this rifle. There are uh, some rounds in the magazine and one in the chamber and uh, just to show you what normally you'll do when you're in the field quite often. I'll, I'll start off by saying that this is something that I've noticed in this rifle. I've caught, caught it happening a couple of weeks ago and I think I've seen it happen once before. The trouble is uh, when this malfunction happens you're quite often not sure was it you just misremembering or did something actually go wrong. Uh, and it's perhaps more likely to happen in the case of a rifle that uh, uses a cartridge like a 44 mag that's a very short it's a very short uh, uh, cartridge going down a magazine so short in terms of its diameter so it's possible that the that the key cartridges could hang up in the tube perhaps more likely with a short cartridge I don't think I've ever seen it happen with model 94 30 30 but uh, if I think way back I think I've once at least once seen it happen with a, with a tubular fed uh, uh, Kui 22 rifle and uh, so I think it can happen in other instances. I would be especially watchful for it happening in the case of a magazine fed lever action like this Rossi which is not necessarily made to the closest tolerances anyways but but mainly because of the fact that it's using a short wide cartridge and a rimmed cartridge on top of that. So um, this is exactly what I had happen to me the other day. And I'm just going to replicate it because you can't can't have it happen every time, it just doesn't happen every time, but it happens enough to be dangerous, so I'll tell you that. So here, I'm going to cycle the gun, there goes one cartridge, right, and pop another one in there, right. So now, now basically what I'm doing is I'm unloading the rifle, I'm going to catch these as they come out, so they don't fly all over the place. So there's one. And I've got three in the tube here, just to replicate it. Normally you can fit six in the tube. So I'll cycle another one in. In she goes. Catch that guy so it doesn't go flying out. Get this thing open. Come on. There you go. Okay, now, so I'm unloading the rifle. And I'm basically watching down the, the action there, seeing if there's more cartridges being fed. Not necessarily counting, I might have a rough idea of how many cartridges were in the in the magazine and how many I've taken out, but not necessarily. You know, there's six uh, six in the tube there. You can lose track. So, so here I go, and I'm cycling out another one. Just going to take this one out gently, and now I arrive at this state. Right? We've all seen that before with the lever action. When you hit that. You look, yeah, the, well, the, the, the magazine is empty. So your chamber is now empty. Your magazine is empty. There's no more, nothing more to feed. So you close the rifle up and you're good to go, right? But then, if you're like, if you're like me, you're, you've just finished unloading this rifle and I actually keep count a little bit. And uh, I know I had one in the tube, and I had six, one in the chamber and six in the tube. And I was taking them out, and I'm counting them. And when I saw that empty feed plate, it was not the sixth round in the magazine. That was the fourth one. So I had to close it up, and I took a close look at it, too. It was definitely that, that, that feed ramp was coming up empty. So, so I closed the action. And I opened it up, and looky there, there's a cartridge. So I could have put the gun away 
and then somebody, a kid or somebody who doesn't know guns or, or whatever reason, eh, thinking the gun is unloaded, they could just cycle that, you know, just, hey, yeah, let's just see how this, oh, that's slick action, whatever, yeah, yeah, go ahead, check it out. And they could have unwittingly easily chambered that round that was left in the magazine. And there was, wasn't just one, there was actually two in the magazine. And what had happened here is that that round maybe kind of bent a little bit as it was going up the, up the uh, magazine and got cockeyed a little bit. I'm not sure exactly. Maybe it's uh, exasperated by the Rossi design of that feed mechanism. I'm not sure, but it, I've seen it happen on a 22 once before too. So, so uh, when you unload a lever action and you hit an empty feed ramp, don't assume that you necessarily emptied it. You know, look down that feed ramp, take the tube out, or or cycle it a few more times to make sure. Because on this in this case here, I cycled it again, and then I saw the other one. And that was partly because I was keeping track too. Of, but I mean, if you're target shooting or hunting or whatever, you don't necessarily know how many rounds are still in your magazine, so you could very easily be confused by that. So. Basic general rule is, as always with a, any firearm, always assume it's loaded because it could have been left in a state like mine might have uh, and always double check, especially with a, with a magazine feed, just don't trust them. So that's all I got to say about that. Let's get this puppy out of there. Now she's empty and I can kind of look down that hole up the magazine too but that's still not necessarily going to be a perfect indicator there is a follower on the end of the spring you can see it that's uh, shiny i don't know how well you can see it in in here but uh, it's uh, if you can see that follower i guess you're pretty safe <laughs> it can't be a bullet in front a cartridge in front of that but uh, still very tricky i just thought i'd pass that along as a public service announcement.